Yes, I can praise the Lord that uh, it happens on the 25th of March 2005 in um, East in Hastings. Um, I thank the Lord prior to that. Uh, I've been through so many religions, so many churches. I was brought up uh, Roman Catholic. I went to Catholic school and I had Catholic teachings. And after that, I um, went to Methodist um, faith. And um, I was uh, Seventh-day Adventist for 10 years. And I also like went to a uh, AOG, Assemblies of God. I've, I've, I've been to so many religions before I heard the gospel. And, uh, and it's so amazing that uh, it happens in 2002 when uh, I came over to England. And um, Pastor Jim, he was a brother at that time. And um, he came to the Lord back home in Fiji. So when uh, I came over to England, he tried to find my number so that he can call me and uh, to tell me about the gospel. And uh, because I thought that oh, I'm older than him and he's my nephew, oh, he always asked me, okay, have you got a Bible? I said, yes. He said, okay, can you open to this scripture and read this and read that? And I always want to challenge him as well. At that time, I was uh, like a strong Seventh-day uh, Adventist. And I thought that I've known the truth. When, um, when he said, oh, yeah, you have to read this. I said, yes, but I'm praying and blah, 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 and stuff like that. And uh, one day he gave me Pastor Ray's number in uh, Exeter. And... Um, Pastor Ray phoned me and I was like giving excuses and I said, oh, I'm busy, I'm working, I can't attend the meeting and stuff. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's always good to be patient as well because uh, God, he gives you the time. Um, and uh, it happens in uh, Hastings. They had uh, Easter camp in 2005 and um, Pastor Jim did phone me. I was working up in Hastings at the time. He phoned me and he said, oh, uh, you working up in Hastings? I said, yeah. He said, oh, we're coming up for our, it's like a Easter, Easter weekend camp. We're coming up there. So, and he said, okay, that uh, he'll call me and I could come and meet him up in town, in the city center, sorry. So he called me when they were up in battle. He called me and he said that they were coming for outreach. So I said, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm free now. I can like come down to town and meet them and meet him. I did not know that he was with brother Nick. And when I came, he was standing, he told me where he was standing. And when I came, then I saw him and said, okay, let's go for a coffee and wait for this another brother coming. So, and, uh, and after that they came, we had coffee and they opened the Bible and uh, I did not hesitate. At that time, I just saw them opening the Bible, like, you know, sharing it to me again and stuff. And after that, and they asked me if I want to be prayed for. And I said, yes. Like uh, we went to the foreshore. It was a lovely Easter day. Like, you know, the weather was really nice up in Hastings, sunshine. And um, so we went to the foreshore and they said for me to say hallelujah. So I just said a few hallelujahs and this word came out. And, you know, I could feel the joy and the peace in my heart. And uh, I just thank the Lord that it happens on that day that, you know, I didn't, I didn't hesitate, like, you know, to go for it, to try and just to see what, Pastor Jim is always like, you no, know, keep on telling me, oh yeah, you have to do this, you have to do that. And, uh, and I thank the Lord that, you no, know, he chose that day for me to hear his word, for me to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And uh, the next day I was baptized by Pastor, Matt, uh, Pastor Steve Murphy to fulfill what the gospel says. And my work started, uh, my walk started at that time. I thank the Lord that, um, that, that it happens like, you know, looking for salvation after searching from different religion. I thank the Lord that it happens that uh, I came to the Lord that, um, at that time. And uh, before that, I always like, well, I, uh, for the healings, I always have a migraine. But when I came to the Lord, that migraine, it was healed instantly. I didn't even have another migraine for the past 15 years. I didn't have any migraine. When I always have this, the migraine, I, I have to have uh, paracetamol so that I could vomit once I vomit and you know, and the, the headache, like the migraine will disappear. Once I was like spirit filled and when I came out from the water of baptism, I didn't even like experience another migraine until today. I can, I can thank the Lord for that. 
uh, I thank the Lord that I always have, uh, we always like have our ups and downs. We always like have um, uh, financial difficulties at times, but I thank the Lord that He is always provide for us. And um, when I came to the Lord, I'm, uh, I'm married in the Lord, and um, I thank the Lord for providing me with uh, with a lovely husband. And um, and also like my my two older boys, they did came to the Lord, but uh, they're not in the Lord anymore. But I'm praying. And uh, I hope that one day they'll come back because they've known the truth. And uh, Ted was healed of, um, of asthma. He always suffered asthma. When he was baptized, you know, the, the asthma disappeared from him. And, uh, and I thank the Lord that uh, he, he will know that the, that the Lord did heal him, that one day he'll come back to the Lord. And uh, I also thank the Lord that uh, now Raymond is a spirit filled and he's uh, walking in the things of the Lord. And um, I thank the Lord for all the things that uh, he's done in our lives, uh, for me and for, for my family. Um, uh, there's, uh, like, we always have uh, difficulties at, at, at time, but we always pray to the Lord, like, you know, to give us the peace, the understanding, the wisdom and the knowledge from him so that, you know, we can uh, to love to, to walk on with the things of the Lord. and. Um, I can um, I can praise the Lord for that, and uh, I thank the Lord that uh, Brother Sok has got a full time job now. Uh, like before, he, it's always hard for him to find job, especially when um, we have the little ones. But um, I, I thank the Lord that uh, he's happy now with his full time job, like working in Bournemouth. And I'm I'm always telling him, oh, you have to drive, like drive too early in the morning and you know you'll be tired getting up at five when you're starting at nine but uh, he loves it so i thank the lord that you know that um, he provide for that for, for his work so that he could uh, help in uh, supporting our family and um uh yeah i can just uh, praise the lord for my salvation i thank the lord that um he bring me back into the, the fellowship uh, just after some ups and downs. And uh, I thank the Lord that uh, I can't wait for his return. Amen.